in chapter four, section two, you're dealing with binomial distributions. In a binomial distribution, you only have two outcomes, either it is or it isn't. We have two functions that can help you out with doing these, otherwise the formulas can get a little complicated. They are the binomial PDF, which you'll be using when you have a precise or an exact value that you're looking for. There's also the binomial CDF, which is a cumulative function. It will accumulate the probabilities from the x value and below. And I'm just going to give you an example of how we do that on the calculator. Now, for your binomial distribution, we are going to go to the distribution function. If we look right above that VARS key, we have the distribution function. So, second, distribution, and now we're going to have to arrow down or up. It's quite a ways down, so I arrowed up instead so I could get to it a little quicker. Now, I'm going to go to binomial PDF. I'm going to say, all right, what's the probability of having exactly 500 boys? So I'm going to the precise one, PDF. I'm going to hit enter on PDF and I'm going to put in my n value. So here I'm going to say, all right, there's a thousand babies born in a hospital in a year. So we're going to put our n value as a thousand. Separating them all by commas, the next value is the probability of having the boy in the first place is 0.5. And I'm separating with a comma for my x value. What's the probability of exactly 500 boys? And ending it off. And I know that seems a little weird, but the probability of having exactly 500 boys born in that year is only 2.5% or 0 0.025. Now if I said what is the probability of having less than 500 boys? Now notice if it says less than 500 500 is not included. You can always kind of picture a number line. And so if I'm looking at 500, less than 500 is 499. If I'm accumulating anything less than 500, I'm going to use my cumulative function, and I don't want to include 500, so I actually have to go down to 499. So I'm going to go to the distributions, arrow to the cumulative function. We're still going with 1,000 babies, probability of 0.5, but now we want less than 500, so we're putting in 499 and below. Cumulative, we'll go 499 and below. And enter, here we have almost 50%, 0.487. Now, if I asked you a question where it said, all right, so what's the probability of having between, oh, let's say, 410 to 510 boys? And if we say this is inclusive, what we will have to do here is accumulate from 510 on down. Now picture the number line for this. If you're going 410 and you're including it, to 510 and you're including it, our cumulative function will accumulate from this number on down. So I'm going to accumulate 510 on down, but notice that'll be too much. So I need to get rid of anything below 410. So since I want to get rid of anything below 410, that means I'm going to subtract off 509 and below. So what I'm going to end up doing on my calculator is going to my distribution function, hitting my cumulative. Everything's pretty much the same here at the beginning. 1000, comma, 0.5, comma, 
and I'm starting with 510 and that's included so I'm putting that number in and now I'm going to subtract off this part that is missing down here the 409 on down so the 409 on down will be subtracted out in that same statement I can hit that distribution function go up to cumulative and then subtract out 1000 comma 0.5 comma 409 I don't want to get rid of 410 so I gotta make sure that I go down to 409 and hit enter and the probability it gives it as a negative one but we never have a negative probability so what this ends up being is a probability of one it rounds to 100 percent or one